Welcome back. This is Your Town. I'm Marianne Leffel, your host for today, and I'm part of the Monterey County Business Council. We're happy to help you learn more about your community. So today I have with me Kimberly Craig. Welcome, Kimberly. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. And uh, we talked earlier. Welcome back. This is Your Town. I'm your host today, Marianne Leffel with the Monterey County Business Council. And today uh, we're talking about the Monterey County Business Council, some of the great programs and uh, events, forums, everything that's going on everything. out there. So, uh, Kimberly Craig. Hi. Hey. <laughs> um, we talked about PTAC and we talked about Leadership Monterey County. So, I want to talk a little bit about work ready communities. Mm -hmm. And about four years ago, the Business Council was invited to apply, and we actually applied for Santa Cruz, San Benito, San Luis Obispo, and Monterey County. And ACT accepted 20 counties into the program the very first year in an academy, and all four of our applicants were accepted. So the only county of those four that's actually moved forward on it is Monterey County. But we've got considerable investment, both time and money, sure. into it. And as an ex-military spouse, to have an opportunity to get a certificate that's known nationally and that's good for five years is pretty significant when you're moving around a lot. So it was one of the things that really compelled me about 10 years ago to find this program and think that it was kind of a good thing. Absolutely. Yeah. So I know that... Um, there is a website where you can say work ready counties and you can see Monterey County on there. It's fascinating to me when you drive through Tennessee or you drive through Georgia, they actually have billboards on the side of their major highways that say we are a work ready county. Well, it sounds to me like we need to start working on that for Monterey County. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Get in touch with clear iHeart Media, you know, billboards, but um, yeah, no, it's a it's a program um, that Monterey County Business Council has uh, taken the lead on and has been a leader in terms of um, really sort of understanding the workforce development element of um, economics in in our county. Um, the you know being able to prove, it's, say you have. 15,000 or 25,000 people who have tested and received certificates of either, you know, silver, gold, platinum um, capabilities shows outside employers, outside companies that we have, you know, capable individuals that live in this community that can be hired for those appropriate jobs. Well, it's interesting, Site Selection Magazine, which is kind of the Bible for uh, economic development, has used to not even have workforce on their top 10. It was things like roads and uh, uh, water housing. and housing, but never workforce. Workforce, two years ago, became number one, the number one issue. And as you read, really, you cannot pick up any type of a publication anymore and not read something about the workforce or lack of. <laughs> sure. And so I think it's, you know, really, really important that we understand that we do need to join a national movement and prove that we do have a workforce that's competitive so that we too can draw the type of business that we believe that we should have here in this county. But it's hard to prove it anecdotally. You have sure. to really uh, have some proof for people. Right now, the world loves data. So. <laughs> 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 well, let's say it's why you know the internet is doing so well because you can you can prove the return on investment by how much time somebody spends online. So, um, you know, I I would agree with you. You know, the National Resource Network, which was a is a federally funded uh, program, you know, turned to um, uh, the county and uh, Monterey County and and really looked particularly with the city of Salinas and how um, how we are developing. Uh, long-term strategies for workforce development and um, you know one of those elements is looking at how programming um, in a junior college I mean you know you look at for instance the agricultural industry let's just use that one of the big focus um, 
areas for agriculture has been ag technology. And um, realizing, you know, so you, you sort of peel away the layers of the onion, you look at what colleges are teaching, what high schools are teaching, what elementary schools are teaching um, that have anything to do with agriculture. And you find things like FFA and 4-H are teaching animal care versus tech, you know, and uh, when you go into areas like um, UC Davis or Cal Poly, um, really the focus and the, the curriculum needs to be focused around those industries. And so having a conversation with the private sector, those industries, having a conversation with the public sector, the cities, and having a conversation with the educational sector really sort of creates a comprehensive plan for your workforce you know, years out. And the Work Keys program is also critical because once those people go through that type of education, they can um, take a, you know, do the testing for it, receive a certificate, and then have that proof that um, they're ready for a new industry. You know, that's, it's, it's been a great program. Well, it's actually very good because it measures <laughs> cognitive ability and your ability to learn new things, but it also measures, and I think this is really important, soft skills. Mm -hmm. So there's a complete test that will tell you, is the person able to work by themselves? Should they be in, do they work as a team? Uh, can they handle stress? Are they punctual? You know, it's, it's all about personal behavior, and increasingly that's what we hear over and over and over from people who are hiring is they had the technical skill, but they didn't have what I needed. And after 60 or 90 days, we had to let them go. And that's so expensive for a, for a business, anybody that's hiring, to have to bring somebody in and then cut them loose. So, and it's demoralizing. It's demoralizing for the person you hired, and it's hard on the rest of the staff Absolutely. if somebody didn't work out. Yeah. So anyway, we'll hear more about that as we go. Um, Monterey Bay Defense Alliance is another program that the Business Council is very involved in. And uh, let's see, we had the first breakfast, which was October, November? Yeah, it was uh, November 17th. Okay. Yes. And so now we're in the middle of an economic impact study, which the Business Council has taken the lead on. So I think we'll roll that out the end of March, first part of April. And uh, we've hired Point Loma University down in uh, San Diego. She, uh, Lynn Reeser, who was the chief economist for several large banks and then also for the, the uh, California Association of Realtors, mm. is the lead economist. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll hear more about that as we go. But it's so important to preserve that $1.4 billion industry. Billion with a B, <laughs> yes. Industry in Monterey County. I mean, it's a, it's so. a critical element. And I think, you know, having grown up on the peninsula, <clears throat> I think there's a lot of sort of mystery around some of the um, defense um, institutions in Monterey County. You know, there's uh, Naval Postgraduate School sits behind a gate. You know, the Defense Language Institute uh, closed to the general public as a thoroughfare after 9-11. Um, but really understanding that, that there is growth and um, there is industry that comes out of those, and, and frankly, population, you know, your your neighbors work there, your, um, you know, your kids, friends are children of, you know, students at the Naval Postgraduate School or professors or it's it's one of those things that it impacts this area so much more than I think people recognize. I mean, like, like you said, 1.6? 1.4. 1 1.4 billion dollar industry here in Monterey County that um, it's great that the Monterey Bay Defense Alliance has um, has formulated and is actively um, advocating for um, for that um, for that knowledge in in our community good so along that line then the Business Council went out and filed a trademark on language capital of the world and because we also believe that so many companies have spun off of the fact that we have the Defense Language Institute and Middlebury uh, here in mm -hmm. our community. Those two are just phenomenal with how they have led the world in language training. So we've got a whole other sector that's busy working on that, which is kind of a subset of the Defense Alliance, but it's also its own it's its own sector yeah, at this point. Yeah, freestanding, yeah, 
entity. So uh, we're really happy, I think, that we are able to foster some of that and continue to see it grow. And we're actually working with another company coming in right now. So I think there's going to be um, a lot more that Movement. people will see mm -hmm. uh, come of that. And um, Central Coast Broadband Consortium. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Marianne's, <one>. Marianne's <laughs> like life and, uh, you know, she's always always off at a, a Central Coast Broadband Consortium meeting and, and um, the critical elements of, of long-term planning for a city and a county um, include discussing broadband, which not everybody wants to do, apparently. It's <laughs> or if they want to discuss it, it's because they don't want as right, much exactly. of it. Right, yeah. exactly. So, but as we hear from the realtors, many of the homes here uh, either sell or don't sell based on the type of cell phone coverage and broadband coverage mm -hmm. they have because so many people that come here are consultants or they're working remotely and they may work for a company in Portland or Denver <laughs> or Manhattan, but they're working here and they pay their taxes here and their kids go to school here and they have a good quality of life here, but they have to have connectivity. So we have continued to work forward on that, and I think it's going to be one of the things this year that we're going to see a big push on. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, we have um, we have identified, uh, and 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 credit goes to some of the cities within Monterey County who have identified that broadband is critical, particularly for large companies coming in, and you need that that element in order to. Um, to bring business into uh, into the area, um, and I I agree. I mean, it, you know, something as simple as driving on Highway One towards Fort Ord, and Fort Ord, you know, is a large chunk of land. I think the size of San Francisco, if I recall, um, that has almost zero cell phone coverage. You know, and you've got you've got so many different elements where we have so much work to do um, with cell coverage and and broadband. That um, I think that that It'll be a, um, a really big topic coming up in the next couple of years. So along that line, two of our partners that we were able to connect, AT&T and the Defense Language Institute, have agreed upon a little parcel of land for a new tower along Highway 1. <laughs> so it will really, Can you hear me now? <laughs> it will really improve the quality for the military community yeah. that is at the former Fort Ord. Yep. And it will improve the lives of all of us who drive that stretch of highway who want to just rip the phone out and throw it out the window because you know you're going to get a drop call um, as you drive that stretch. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is part of the economy and it is part of how we move forward. So we were able to make the connection between those two mm -hmm. based off of a phone call from AT&T that they had some money that they would put into the county if we could identify some um, s sites that needed help. And that was the first one that was identified. So uh, there, I think we'll see that early in 2018. That's so. great. Yeah, we can take a bow on that one. <laughs> Curtsy. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't fix it, but we made the connections. We made the connections to, get it to make it happen. <laughs> so <laughs> excellent. And usually, that's. Uh, I'm sure that's yeah. what you find most of your day is making the connections and, and just saying, okay, I know this needs to go with this person. And Who let's can I call it. about this and put them in contact? Absolutely. I mean, that's that's one of the most important elements I think about doing anything in Monterey County is. Um, managing, you know, your relationships and managing um, partnerships and making sure that there's consensus and compromise and everything. Yeah. It's hard, though. It's yeah, hard. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> well, it's also hard because it's hard not to just then get right into an issue and stay in it. Sometimes you just have to make the connection and back away because there are 15 other connections waiting to be made <laughs> right. and you can't like just get yourself Hyper immersed focus. in yeah. one. Yeah. So, um, Absolutely. yeah, it's kind of crazy how it works. So, um, the business council is a public private partnership really mm -hmm. when you, when you look at it and a lot of our, um, best supporters and people that we have helped the most, our agencies and cities with the companies because it takes both of them in order to make economic development. And I think it's one of the things we can be most proud of is that there's constantly that interconnection and that building on, the, on those bonds. I agree. I mean, um, one of the things that drew me initially to the Monterey County Business Council was 
um, the fluidity in which um, the council works. I mean, uh, you know, working with the county of Monterey, working with the city of Gonzales, working with uh, someone who wants to open up a subway, you know, in Seaside. Um, Togos. To sorry. To <laughs> That was a hypothetical, but okay, Togos, <laughs> to make it a real life scenario. Um, you know, there are, um, there are so many capabilities that the, um, that the Monterey County Business Council um, helps with, you know, just private, public, anywhere where we can assist in business development. And, um, and I'm, I'm really proud to be a part of that program because, part of that organization because um, because of their problem-solving capabilities. Uh, coming from private industry, you know, it's like you're hired, you're fired, that's it. Coming from the government sector in my part-time job as a council person, there's a process. If you try to do it behind, the, you know, behind closed doors quickly, you get accused of not being transparent. And with the business council, it's all about just problem-solving. And that's it done. getting it done and problem-solving. And I'm so... Um, grateful and honored to be a part of that program, um, and part of that um, organization that um, it's really a, been a, a great experience the last six months to be to be part Terrific. of it. Terrific. So um, one more thing and then we're going to end, but February 28th is an infrastructure day. Yes, desperately needed. And so the Let's idea... Let's talk about awkward things. <laughs> The, the idea is to take the major utilities, the major um, infrastructure that we need, whether it's roads or it's broadband or it's... Uh, Gas and electric, whatever. <laughs> anything, and say, this is, how, this is where we were maybe 30, 40 years ago. This is how we got to here, and how can we move forward? And I think it's so needed. So um, it'll be February 28th at the Embassy, Embassy Suites. Suites yep. And I, I think uh, we'll push that hard in the next couple of months. And it looks like everybody who is interested in infrastructure has some piece of it is interested in being part of that day. So it's going to be a full day. So. And if you want more information, you can go to www.mcbc, Monterey County Business Council, mcbc.biz, or you can call 831-216-3000, and we're happy to give you more information on it. Perfect. So, Kimberly Craig, thank you. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Pleasure to be here. I'm excited. I'm, you'll be here on this show a lot. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Thank you. So, this is your town, and uh, hopefully you've learned some good things today. Uh, don't go away. We'll be back in a minute.